E. What are you? We are back. Some more lies. E. Started this off yesterday. So we are still very early on in it. We're going to be playing this for uh, most of this week. Okay. Um, tomorrow we're taking and doing Genshin. But then on uh, Wednesday and Friday, we're also playing Lies of P as well as the whole weekend. Alright, let's get back. I'm the new! Alright, so we have to come back here for a uh, level up. I'm still getting used to the controls. I haven't played since. Try to run back to where we were. Uh, we came back and leveled up just because there was a large enemy in front of us, and I just did not want to risk loot. What we got. Actually, let's see. I don't think anything happens if we step into the light, right? Yeah, no, okay. Just a random spotlight. Get some. Get some. containers and have a lot oh wait actually we do have uh let's think we might have no we didn't get any of them okay we're up to 50 we still have like 25 percent so usually 25 percent is usually the cost between whether or not we do a light or heavy roll for some games How many is in our inventory? I meant storage. I guess we can't check what's in storage from that menu. Ah! how much of the Pinocchio lore is in this in terms of like all the different locations and stuff that he ends up going to throughout his uh, travels because like we were talking about what would be cool sequels and of course if they don't really use any of the locations from the book you could always do some of those locations which I keep saying next game, but it's like, I barely started playing this, but I seriously hope that they do a sequel. So far this feels really good, I love the design. Alright. Okay, we already used up one health. I need to figure out how we get more health for me, like, uh, more health, for, like, revive jars. More Estus Flask, I don't... Boopies! Oh my god, he just tumbles. Oh god. Oh god.
got a bunch of uh, the electro. It's actually going. Oh, actually, this hello. Oh, we got some stuff for Gemini. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. Fuck, the guy's over there. Oh my god, it's a lot. Oh, wait, no, that's the same room. Used one of our heels and tightened it. Alright. Life amulet. And right leg just cap cord. Reckon. Anyone was alive out here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. <laughs> I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. Don't worry, I won't cause any trouble. We survivors need to look out for each other. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. I feel like you did. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. All right, we got this. Um, okay, this. Electro coil, there's electro. Okay, we have that from stairs. Yeah, this is all still stuff within like, demo work. There we go. Increase max HP. Booyah. Feels like a buff. Nope. Okay, that is super useful to fight this guys. I 
Like, why? How? Like, this is clearly... This makes no sense. Doesn't it? Oh, well, I guess that could probably be somewhere. Say, having storefronts up here? But I guess that way might have led... Down there, if I dodge bolt correctly. Oh fuck! Okay, never mind. If I dodge bolt correctly. Here, able to take him out with a fully charged heavy. Ooh, feetsies. There out. I don't there. Let's go grab this. Get it. Oh dude, there's a white coat down there. White coat add pretty heavy. Wait. I can sense something strange. Jeepers! Is that a butterfly? Why is the ergo reacting like that? If you want to check it out, I can take point. Now, what was up with? I think they're kind of like, you know, the lizards. Slash the dung beetles and stuff from, like, Souls game. There's been multiple ways down so far. This one I remember. Alright, time for our first dinner. So much, kind one. I can finally see my sweet Elena's face again. Please hurry. Heart scales spreading across my eyes. Before I lose my sight, please. She said the baby was at City Hall. Should we check it out? Okay, so yeah, I forgot about that. There is like some sort of happening. Oh my god, 
and power through. Okay, it's just one swing. I was hoping it would be two. I mean, oh. I get more than one swinging. Damn it, stuck in corners. Oh my god, the the fail animation takes forever. Wait, no, what? I thought Oh my god, that's lame. I did triangle because I was betting on the move finishing him off, but instead it just, I don't know. I think it amplifies the electric or something. Frick. I was really betting on that, like, hit striking. Alright, well, that's our first death for today. No! Fuck! Oh my god! I'm getting bogarted by fucking everything! I hate- I, the, My least favorite enemies are the guys with the spears. They are so... Oh, fuck. Red swing. Ah, I just can't get that third swing in. There we go. Good lord. Alright, we have the uh, club now from him. Remember that from... From the demo. Yeah, we're coming up to the end of the demo already. Looks like sweet. It'll be all new stuff for me then. Oh my god, I'm just not fast enough with this. It's just like a bit too slow. This is full. Oh, 
Broke that. Oh my god. Okay, you have to turn it on and then you have to activate it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank god they were not on my cheeks. They are like land. Good. I already completely forgot about the left repair system. God damn it. Alright. I know that there's. Honestly, you run into quite a few people that are like, maybe not full on boss fights, but like, definitely more, way more advanced like fights. Like I know a guy on the, there's a guy on this bridge, and like we just fought that one dude before the hotel, and it's like, I'd say they're pretty like, evenly distanced, pretty close together. I think this side is a dead end. At least it was in the demo. That could change. That could. Because, yeah, we were up there on those roofs and we could have climbed down. Goading them right through the um. yeah, And it's so like creepy because there's so many dead bodies on the ground and it's just hard to differentiate some of the bodies from robots. That's awesome. Wait. Look at the guy down there, yeah. Okay, so it does look like it's still cut off. Nope. Oh my god! Bro! This is definitely a bit slower than the other weapon, but it has, I think, I think the Electro is able to add like a, a stun, or at least it does persistent shock damage after a certain period, but I think it has a better chance of stunning and like stopping your enemy from attacking. I heard someone cough. 
So yeah, there is a quarantine zone. There's like a plague apparently going on right now, which again, I'm like 100% sure that it is tied with the blue stuff happening. Is that you, Murphy? Oh, I guess not. Sorry, I, I thought you were my friend, Murphy. Murphy is a super cool police officer. <coughs> As a puppet, even the petrification disease can't get him. I wish I was like him. <coughs> should leave so you don't catch the disease from me. If only we could play together like we used to. Murphy, I miss you. If only we could play together like we used to. Murphy, I miss you. He's got brown here. I don't know why I just noticed that. I always thought he had black hair. There's one more guy behind the truck. Okay, we keep on getting star fragment. Ah, fudge. Okay, so there's a few seconds hitting it and just popping off. That's good. I'm trying to remember the names of the things and not just using Dark Souls lingo. Okay, we need to get more cells. More cells. Well, actually, we came down this way. We explored all this way. Um, I think there was there was one more. Oh, yeah. And then we'll go up. No! Oh, frick my life. I saw it right when I swung. Hey, do you know we can custom- we can combo weapons now that we have the workbench? I remember during the demo I actually disassembled this because the handle is actually really good and I replaced it with like a, with a uh, oh fuck me, with a normal uh, sword. I can't remember if I used the heavy blade or if I just used a light blade. I base it was almost like a spear because the handle is like long like a club and the tip was like long like the sword so I was getting like a little extra length out of it. It felt like, like it wasn't a spear, but it still felt longer than most of the swords. It was definitely later. I can't remember what blade I used. I don't think I used the heavy. I might have used the other, the, this one. I've already done all. So, so I know that there is a uh, fight coming up, so we'll go and return to Blue Fairy. His name escapes me right now. Hotel cart or crat? I remember they pronounced it. 
funny. <laughs> All right. Oh, we only have one level? Okay. okay I think we actually have... Oh, actually, we have more than enough to get another level. I'll use my power. Yeah, let's, yes, let's increase our physical defense. Let's go one physical defense, so that's up to 11. Oh wait, there is a cat over there. I thought there were only the porcelain. Upgrade weapon, there we go. Okay, this is the thing I wasn't sure about in uh demo. I can't remember. I think if you disassemble and reassemble it, it might I think it resets. Opponents, I think. Now look at that. The heavy blade only does like 10 extra damage from the light blade, and the light blade moves so much quicker. I think this only is for the head. I think the hilt is like a completely separate thing. Yeah, upgrade blade. Um... Okay... Yeah, see this? Movement goes down, but technique goes up. up. Alright, well, let's level up. Um is a bit slower but i don't know the electro damage once it hits it like this is sustained like damage for like a few seconds for use but again it's like much slower i like the quicker stuff so let's upgrade this oh let's talk Stargazer is a survival device used by the Stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. The Stalkers installed Stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The Stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates puppets. 
I know whose side you're on. Uh, see. Pussy cat. You know, I'm surprised there's not a way to like upgrade the weapon. Oh yeah, we did change into this outfit and we didn't go talk to that woman. Well, go talk to her now that we have the outfit on she gave us. tale about a mischievous wooden puppet all of Krat knows the story all because of someone who loved that story more than anyone else uh, but this is strange I, I do not recall who exactly was that someone use the stargate I wonder if we'll ever circle around and expand out part one any Yeah, the teleportation thing is always a hard thing to reconcile in a world that's like relatively grounded. Like in Bloodborne at the very least with the whole Hunter's Dream thing. There was very clearly like dark cosmic magic shit happening. Or here it's just like there's no magic, really. There's like the weird stone, but that's about it. But like, how does that? Uh, I guess it's supposed to be scientific teleportation rather than magical, but still, it's like that is extremely advanced. <laughs> that's not just a matter of oh, we could do it right now if we had the right power source. It's like no, that there's a lot more to it than just that, bud. Have a level two sword. Um, I don't think we can level up our arm. That's good. Come out, Geppetto. You got a lot to answer for. This, I think, is a cool little idea. together tell me the truth what's your problem i'm here for the old man get lost wait i know you or more like i know what you are you're the devil's puppet you can't sneak past me who's trying to sneak ah! bud okay this guy gave me issues in the demo The downward swing is always the best bet. Because the amount of recovery. Oh, heavy was not the way to go with that. Puppet. That 
Ah, no, I thought I was far enough back. Fuck. Oh, I can only get like one hit in before he can actually like fight me back. Oh, wait, what are those scratches? Like, I'm not, like, I feel like I'm not triggering the proper backstab or something. Okay, I feel like these guys are easier than I remember. Like, is there a difficulty setting that I'm not aware of? I'll need to check. Maybe I'm just that good. There we go. One and done. What's up? Alright, one and done with that guy. Honestly, I'm surprised. I thought he was going to give us more trouble. Responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. <laughs> Bro, you just give me the other guy's clothes. Okay, the key, I'm assuming, is the thing that is supposed to be the key. Right. Here. Um, yeah, that was a lot easier. In the demo, it felt, like, way harder. Okay, I need to check that. Like, some, like, the two bosses we fought were, like, are, like, the first one was kind of hard, just to, to his size, but this guy was pretty easy, so it's, like, gameplay, um, blood, mo oh, motion sensor. Honestly, I haven't really been feeling it that bad. Uh, I'm not seeing any difficulty. Huh. I don't know. Weird. Felt more difficult last time. Maybe it's just because I remember the demo so vividly. If I can remember the movements a bit better. Maybe that's what's up. Alright. Well, yeah, so that guy that showed up here with the jackass uh, head. I believe that's supposed to be the reference to... What was it? Was it like... I can't remember what they call it in the Pinocchio story, but he goes to that, like, fantasy island. And, like, all the boys there are, like, little assholes. And they just, like, smoke and drink and act like little brats all day. And it's like, oh, it it's supposed to be a magical, wonderful place. And then they start getting turned into donkeys, which, by the way, they never change back. They are permanently changed into donkeys. I think that's supposed to be the reference from that donkey guy. It's like, whatever his group is, is like fucking petulant children that only do whatever they want. I want to hear all about your experiences. But now isn't a good time. Use the stalker's key to open the bridge door. Then get rid of the frenzied puppets that have seized City Hall. We'll catch up at Hotel Croc when you're done. Alright, so this next part is basically what the last part from the demo was. It was a pretty lengthy demo. 
Uh, but at the same time, I'm not sure exactly how long this game is, so it's like I can't wait to see what more this has in store for us. But yeah, the guy coming up, I remember he was the hardest person we fought in the entire demo. But that dude back there didn't give us much trouble, so we'll see. I think we have enough for another level, but let's open up this shortcut over here first, and then we'll teleport back, get a level. I don't remember, maybe there's a weapon deep down here? Oh yeah, okay, I can eat. And yeah, our stamina was running a bit low there, so I think we are going to focus on our stamina. I'm just a little bit too short when I'm trying to be all uh, dodgy and stuff. So... Three solid hits, as long as we have to connect all of them. And I believe um, this boss is actually the first one that introduces the summoning concept, I think. Pretty sure if I remember that right from the demo. Here we go, the first actual look at what this is. Yubi and Crystally. Gross. Assemble weapons. Okay, we can do that here now. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now we had to go back to the table. Okay, so yeah, it's a plus blade and the handle. Handles. How you doing today, bud? Stretching it out. So yeah, the the boss. Like God, they like really cram pack a lot of bosses in here. The like, technically, if you look at it, like we haven't really gone too far. I'll use my power to help you. And it's like you literally fight like kind of a mini boss on the bridge, and he's like, "Hey." Up ahead, there's a boss. It's like, really? Right away? All right, level up. We'll get one level out of this. So we're going to go stamina. Oh, it's only four? Bro. All right. Um, 1,000. 
400 and change. Uh, let's see what we got. I think we picked up a few more little orbies. Okay, we got a thousand right there, so. You know what, let's just use that. Then we'll get some more I'll stamina. Use my power to help you. Going good, going good. We just did... I, I can't even call one of them a boss fight. He's just like a slightly harder enemy type. Plus a uh, mini boss. Which we actually blew through pretty quickly. <laughs> and ironically enough, it was only the... Uh, some regular rando dude that actually ended up killing me today. Instead of a boss. And I just blasted right through him, so... Good luck so far, but I'm afraid that luck's about to come to a very abrupt end with who we're about to go up against. Okay. Yeah, like I said, if I remember correctly, this boss that's coming up right outside of his door actually introduces the concept of, like, summons. So... Let's see if that's the same here as it was in the demo. Because I remember I needed to summon someone in because the boss was fucking bananas. He had like a very long reach kind of thing and from what I remember you had to be like all up in him just to be able to land a hit. One of those things where it's like his reach is like three times longer and you have to be like right up next to him to actually land a hit. So it's like shit. Um, but who knows they could have fixed the hitbox on it. That's 90 right there. Easy. Breezy. Bitch, I'm a girl. Alright. Wait, what? Oh god, I do not have a weapon equipped for some reason. Fuck, 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 fuck. I had to re-equip it to my person? Oh wait, no, there it is. Why was I on the other one? I love having the extra long handle. It definitely, yeah, the extra long handle definitely makes it feel it's slightly longer. The uh, blade being able to hit. Guy over there, and I can't remember. Uh, we have to use a specific item to do a summon. Oh. We're gonna kind of pass on that guy for right now. We'll circle back after we check out what's up ahead. Oh, that's it. I think that's the material we need for summons. Oh, shit! Did we break his blade? We did. Nice. I think we broke it before we actually finished him off. Ah, treasure chest. like that's cool item it is okay crush 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 increased damage inflicted on puppets okay like what the this increases hp this is increases damage to puppets like those kind of seem like the main two most people would want in this game. So it's interesting that they give you those, like, immediately. 
unfortunately. I don't think we have any more... Attribute resistance. Boots. Status ailment. Can't remember if this guy has what this guy has. I think this guy might have like electric powers. Ah, right here. Oh, that's what the star fragments were for. Okay, yeah, yeah. we keep finding them everywhere and I couldn't remember what we used. Alright, let's do a star fragment. First time, let's just try. Oh, wait, shit, I should have read that. I can't remember if this summons an NPC or if it's another player. I think it might be another player. Nothing's happening! <laughs> See our death. The hall. Why do so many of these things have mustaches? Who designed this guy? And thought, oh yeah, that looks friendly and nice and not like a complete fucking psycho. Like, what was his purpose outside of being a terrifying murder machine? Oh, there we go. Ah! Poke him in the butt, poke him in the butt, poke him in the butt. Yeah, I think... I, I don't think that's a character. I don't think that's a, like, player character. Oh, wait, shit! I just realized... Wait, when did we get that? We got a fourth vial. How did we get that? I didn't realize when we got that. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Yeah, he has like a command grab thing that's fucking brutal as fuck. Okay, what's going on here? This is ridiculous. Like, yes, we have a guy brought in for help. But when I was doing this during the demo, it took me, like, many tries to beat him, even with an assistant. And it my, the assistant was, like, the same dude. That's why I'm saying it's not a player character, it's an NPC. Yeah, dude, they lowered the level of this a lot. This is way easier. Or who knows, maybe the skills I got from playing Elden Ring. Maybe, you know, fucking OP. Yeah, that was definitely a key character. So easy. Why was that so easy? Okay, this makes me afraid. And it's like... Well, okay. 
Yeah, it makes me afraid that this game's gonna be super easy, but I'm still looking forward to the story. Wait. Friend. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. That whistle... What did that say it was? That, we just got this. Four part. Okay, I hope we're just still in like section one so everything is like ridiculously. That's why. Small wooden officer puppet. Red whistle. That guy was talking about, in that window, was talking about his friend who was the officer. And I think he said his name was Fred. Okay, we'll go back and talk to him and see if, like, this clears anything up. Plus... I could have sworn we should have found a wooden... a, a doll. And she said it was at City Hall. I believe this... I don't know if it was beating him or just meeting Geppetto. Whew, I think we're done here, pal. Back to the hotel. I guess beating him unlocked Geppetto back at the... Oh. Yeah, we're gonna actually teleport and talk to some other people. there was dialogue for when we picked up the doll but it didn't seem like it unless we didn't find the doll yet but I could have sworn that woman's baby was here oh wait actually I think it's over there maybe that's what it is was that? <laughs> okay. I did a heavy and that dropped him and then I just did a normal and that's what triggered that. This. There it is. No. No survivors here. What do we do? Just puppet spoilers she's already delusional and she's dying so yes doesn't need her delusions broken and wither into crippling depression right before she dies all right yeah who knows i think maybe the resistance that we put on really helped because i remember the electric stuff was a lot more prevalent and we were even like during the demo i was like way weaker feeling like it definitely took a lot more swings like i think i had my i think i had like quite a few more levels and my sword was leveled up to i think four or five when i fought him and i still had to do like 10 plus tries so it's like it's weird but again, we're early in the game. This was all covered in the demo. I'm assuming they're going to scale the difficulty. They might have ramped up the difficulty in the demo just to show what the overall game will feel like. And so I'm assuming it's going to get more difficult as we Oh, fuck my life. All right. First, come over here and talk to the Oh, hey. Super. I 
could sense her from miles away. Oh, my sweet Elena. <laughs> Please let me hold her. <sighs> there, there, my baby. I missed you so much. <laughs> what do you think? Isn't my baby adorable? That's right, kind one. <laughs> You've granted me my only wish. <laughs> my sweet Elena. <gasps> We're going to be happy now. Thank you so much, kind one. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude. I don't know if that would count as a lie. Oh yay, we got- Oh, this is where we get that cool song from! Eel. Technically, yeah, I don't know if that would count as a lie or not, because technically we didn't lie. It is a baby doll. I asked how her baby looked. I didn't say yes, it's definitely a living real child. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's vague. I just didn't tell her the brutal truth of, like, that is just a doll. Oh, dude, I just realized how much freaking uh, stuff we have. Honeys. You can get a few levels out of that. And I believe... So there's multiple upgrade stuff in this game. Actually, there's a lot. I think there might be more upgrade stuff in this game than there is in, like, any Souls game. Um, and I think the most interesting upgrade thing has just been unlocked once we get back to the hotel. Geppetto. Which was only really hinted at in the demo, but it got me really excited saying, Ooh, this will make this game quite a bit more interesting. I need to walk near the lit windows. In case. Yeah, let's see. I, I do wish that there was a better signifier. Like, that woman, her... Uh, yeah, that was temporary. You could see her outline from outside the window. But this guy over here, you can't. I wish it was more uniform. Over yeah. If only we could play together like we used to. Murphy. Oh, it was Murphy. Sorry. You. My bad, my bad. But we did get that wooden doll. Maybe that will definitely... Alright, cool, cool, cool. Head back. See Papa? And Sophia. Wait, and I think we also have some other components we can modify. Oh, let's talk to him. Let's see if he's added anything new to his shop. I, didn't steal this. I don't know if they'll ever add anything new based on our exploration. Nope, nothing. We still haven't used this yet. Labor day. Oh, wait, look at that. Down at the bottom at the hotel, it shows uh, two people's faces. So maybe that tells us. Wait, why does this have the whistle? This is where we are, but that looks like the whistle we picked up. Are right, we going to teleport back to the hotel? I'm going to check that. Maybe that's trying to tell us that someone in this area needs the whistle. And I think the the faces down by the hotel obviously is telling us like, oh, you get the, these people have something to say. 
That would make this so much easier, unlike Dark Souls or any like Souls game where it's like, yes, you're going to have to come back and talk to this person 40 times to figure out what's the one thing that triggers the next part of dialogue. That's, I don't know. That's always, it's both fun and annoying because it's, Souls is one of those games that I'd say hyper benefits from having online culture with it in that you need to talk to other people on forums or read forums about this game to learn secrets and stuff like that. Like, yes, it might be funner for you to find it yourself, but at the same time, I don't have a million hours to do one thing, go back to talk to one specific NPC and do that a thousand times in the game. But there's multiple NPCs that kind of work like that. And I feel like Souls games really benefit from having like forums and stuff like that a lot. It makes the community a lot more interesting. Like what about Jarhead from frickin' uh, Elden Ring? Just a random guy decided, you know what? I'm not going to wear any armor. I'm going to wield some katanas and wear a jar on my head. And I'm going to just be super OP and randomly help people. And because of that, he is now a legend within the game. You saved Geppetto. Wonderful. He is on the second floor. He can hardly wait to see you. Let's see this. I, if I remember correctly, this song slaps. Well, let's feel. Oh, it is the Video games and their power ballads. Between this and Honkai Star Rail, like, I've been hearing a lot of fucking, like, pops re recently, like... Actually, we need to stop it, because we need to talk. I picked up traces of high-powered energy originating far away. That's one mystery solved. Why don't we make a Legion arm with it? Oh! Mr. Vanini is the expert when it comes to Legion arms. But I'm pretty sure I can make one. The puppets get fried easily by electricity. If you use an electric legion arm, it'll make your life easier. Elia yeah, electro arm. Oh, and it's kind of almost got like a Greek ish feel to it. It's of like the all design. Lightning arm. I am Zeus. Baller. Let's go out here for a sec. Check it out. Okay, so it's got a bit of a blast radius. Okay, good to know. Okay, so it's just like a ball radius that's like right in front of us. It doesn't go out super far, but it does have a little bit of distance. It's fully charged. But I think I'll probably use it as quick first. Oh, wait, hold on. Blowing over here. I don't know if those are supposed to be collected. Right, upstairs. Oh, actually, you know what? No, we're gonna talk to, uh... Lady in wheelchair, now that Geppetto's back. Probably got some to say. That sounds very dangerous. Geppetto usually isn't so reckless. The pain of his grief may be clouding his judgment. Uh, oh, uh, dear. Uh, I, I shouldn't have said that. 
You and Gebetto are always welcome at this hotel. Gebetto's room is on the second floor. You can stop by whenever you like. Yes, if I remember correctly, Gebetto originally had a son who died. And then he made... Which, I don't think that's how it is in the... I don't know if that's how it is in the... I can't remember. But I do know another very famous story that does that, and that's Astro Boy! <laughs> Astro Boy is literally just Pinocchio if he was a robot boy. Same themes. Oh, there's the cat. That part of the wall looks oddly empty. Come on. Rum bum. son always remember that you're precious to me even when i ask you to do something dangerous speaking of which there's a factory just beyond the lycian boulevard it's packed with countless puppets my friend the inventor vanini went to stop them but he never came back please go save him and shut down the factory Lenini. Really, that's the same person that, uh. P organs are the source of your powers. Roll downstairs with. Collect quartz to get the strength you need. Especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people. And always be a good boy to me. Here we go. Something that they've never implemented in a Souls game before. A skill tree! Kind of. Alright. Okay, this I'm still working on trying to fully figure out. So, I can get them into the white bar, I get that. But when the scratches appear, I'm not sure. I think I just have to do a heavy. But I don't know if it's, like, body part specific. Um, Link dodge? We'll probably go with that. I'm a dodgy boy, you guys know that. Um, Increase the maximum number of pulse cells by one. I think... I think we defeated someone ass maybe and i think that's what increased pulse cell or it could have been just because we rescued geppetto those things happen at once so it's like hard to um okay increase the maximum number of charge table slots i honestly am not i'm still not sure what those ones do i understand the ones that are on the sword do or maybe it's just a double thing or like the charges Go up in the corner but they're also the same charges that are on the weapon or are those two different things that i'm not clear about um but yeah we're gonna go with we, we got two okay, so we can either do dodges or we can increase health honestly we just got a new bit of health so i think we're good there i'm super dodgy so let's go with the dodge for 
Oh wait, hello. Enhance charge. Oh, 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 okay. So there's like different things that we can increase on top of that. Enhance uh, charge your attack. And add table arts. Character. Hmm. Thinking enhancing dagger duration will help, especially if we end up like getting into a fight with multiple people. So if you're able to stick your one, it will really help. Oh, wait, no, there's even... Okay, so these are all different things. Okay. Yes. Okay. So these are items... Our weapon. Basically our defense and then our attack. Can I pick another attack? I don't think so. It's like faded out. You cannot equip multiple. Okay. We're probably going to get all of these eventually. Some way, somehow. Enhance guard regen recovery. Fatal arts plus spell chart. Oh, down at the bottom it tells us even more information. I'm an idiot. Alright. <laughs> um Oh wait, actually hold on. Items. Um I was going to see if there's a way to increase the speed of taking a pulse cell. That would be super helpful. I don't see anything that would. Alright. Ah, dang it. Or damage. Impulse cells are discharged. I think that's if they hit us while we're healing. Um... Oh, honestly, the guard one would be good. Or the let, let's go with this. Let's go with this. I feel like I'll fuck up the timing, probably at some point, and this will really be helpful. There and now, enable another dodge. Yeah, I think that's basically it. And we don't have... Oh, wait, do we? No, we don't. We don't. Yeah, okay, we don't. We only had two of those worths. And yeah, as you can see here, it's the same list. But we'll probably be able to unlock all of these eventually by doing all the rest of those. But yeah. Honestly, I'm a little hesitant because obviously, like... Well, let's use this. Lock me into the Matrix. Okay, so these are just the parts. They're saying they're parts. In shape. You can get from City Hall to the factory with the key I just gave you. 
Benini gave me that key. And now he's missing. Rescue him if you can. Yeah, Benini was the guy. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> but what's her name down here? You're going to the factory to save Mr. Venini, right? He's the richest man in Krat. A little eccentric, maybe, but a good person. I heard he went to shut the factory down. Hmm. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. Jenny? Yeah, I think you... Jenny said that he was like a craftsman for the arm, like just like right before we got the electric arm, right? Um, let's also see what this guy has to say. Welcome to Hotel Prat. How may I be of service? Yeah, also, why is he like not crazy? I get why we are because we're supposed to be like a whole new type, but why is this guy not? The stalkers. A Kratz vigilantes. There are two groups of them. The Bastards and the Sweepers. The Bastards are an organization of guards for the alchemists and the workshop. Motto, honor or nothing. The Sweepers are an organization of guards for the old families of Krat. Motto, we always repay what is owed. Historically, the relationship between the two groups has been turbulent, but most were killed in the puppet's full-scale attack. That is what little I know beyond the hotel walls. May I serve you in some other way? Hey. Right. Well, now we learned about the stalkers, and now they're broken up into two groups. I hope there's a way to get other people here. I thought there was a way to open this door. Alright, well, let's go back and then we will... I'm trying to think if I missed anything. I think I, I think I covered everything. Like, it does help that, you know, uh, it was part of the demo that I played. I remember that pretty well. Teleport bay. Open up the next area. I think this game is supposed to be... 40 hours, I think? If not more. Oh wait, did I even do the level up? Shit. Wait, did I do level up when I was there? I did not. God damn it. <laughs> All right, well, we'll open up the door. Ah, I went there to do the level up, and I literally did everything else but that. But yeah, that song that we got, Feel, such a great song. Look it up on YouTube if you can. It is amazing. Very nice ballad. A ballad. All right, ICP playtime. Let's see what we got. Is It's like 40 or 80. Oh, okay, it's between 38 hours and 50... Oh, 38 hours and 55 minutes. Um, and I did find out there are three separate endings to this game. Um, like I said in the first part, I'm just winging it, and I'm just gonna... We're gonna do whatever in this first playthrough and just see what we get as the ending. And then we will deliberately target the other two endings in our next two playthroughs. Now that I know for sure that there's... Three endings. Assuming there's not, like, I don't know, some easy, like, act. Like, spoilers for Bloodborne. There's, like, quite a few endings for that. But most of them... You can basically get if you save, like, right before the final boss fight. Here it is. The Nini works. Everything you see here belongs to the Nini. The classiest playboy and most brilliant inventor in Krat. Just ask him. Not just puppets. 
Almost every machine and tram in Krod is supplied from here. You gotta be curious about the guy. What kind of person is he? Ah, I wish we could find him. That is, if he's still kicking. Like I was saying, for Bloodborne, uh, for the endings, it's pretty easy once you know what to do. You can uh, basically save, back up that save to like a thumb drive or something, because it auto saves as soon as you beat the boss. That way you can just, you know, boop, race it after you get the trophy, pop in the next one, get the next ending. It's kind of a scrubby way to do it, but on the other hand, do you really want to replay the entire game just so the final minute before the boss fight you can make a decision that will change the ending? Like, I prefer it where it's like, no, there's multiple things throughout the whole story you have to do to get this ending. It's not just, oh, you have to do this thing right at the end, and then you, it will depend on which ending you play. Then you have to play through the entire game again just to get to that one decision. Like, I fucking hate that. And yes, it's a little more complicated with Bloodborne, technically. But as long as you have all the right, like, equipment, or you've talked to all the right people, once it comes to the final fight, you do have a few options on what ending you'll get. But for this, I don't really plan on doing that, at least for the first two playthroughs. We'll see how... how it changes. Oh. Ah! Guys, basic guys are just dropping 96 for us now. Really? Did you do good? Or is that more of a... No, not really. We got another... We really haven't been using many items. What the frick was that? Are you frickin' shitting me? Guy on the roof. Ah, oh. Duckin' fire bombs. Oh shit, there's like a weird scrubby looking dude vomiting at us. Alright, once again, everyone seems to be like three swings. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think there might be a way up on the roof over here. Yes, there is. No, oh, I tried to do a downward plunge and it made. Nice. Ow, buddy. What? No! Why? Okay, well, apparently those are fragile and can just break. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. We got a new item. Oh, that's what that guy was doing in the corner. For a second, I thought he was holding a gun, but it didn't look like it. But he was, like, in a weird posture, so I was like, what? He was gonna throw another Molotov. This is why we need to level up stamina. Back away, back away, back away. Woo! Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna need to back up a bit. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, 
Oh my god, that was bad. Oh my god. Okay, we got saw blade. I wonder, okay, so we can have weapons and we can break them down to a blade and a hilt and then combo them that way. I wonder if we'll ever find parts. Just like, oh, you found a random blade or, oh, you found a random hilt somewhere. It's like that saw blade. We did see some dudes walking around with saw blades on a hill, so EB. Yeah, like that guy. Whoop. Or maybe that's more of a gear. Oh, fuck you. Molotov thrower. Okay, wait, those do recharge. Okay. I don't know if it was recharged due to. Oh god, that's poison down there. Do not tell me they gave us a fucking blight swamp in this game. The scourge of humanity in every Souls game is the fucking swamp of poison. Ooh, I don't think so, guy. Clearly, we're supposed to go over here, but we will not. And I swear that sound effect from healing is the same one from Ledbor. Check the corners. Oh! It wasn't. Still, a promise is a promise. Arlecchino, tell him what he'll get. Thanks, Arlecchino. Caller, your correct answer has earned you a Trinity key. Doors and keys, and keys and doors. The subjects of puzzles and riddles galore. My next riddle won't be so simple to crack. Arlecchino's the king. <laughs> Not some riddling key. Got a key. Okay, I've known that riddle for a long time. I think... I don't know. Most people know that one. I think that's one of the most famous riddles ever. I hate it so much because it's so crap. It's like the cane should not count as a third leg. That's fucking dumb.
Hey, but we got a key. Okay, so I wonder what the hell that goes to. Uh, I'm happy that they introduced something like that. That seems to be like an ongoing thing that we're going to have to deal with. Bunch of riddles. Hopefully we'll get lucky with them. I'm not the best at riddles. I just know that one. Riddler situation going down here. Most people know Pinocchio is, in fact, Batman. Actually, get a nice look around. Obviously, we're probably going to be heading towards fucking Dracula's castle up there at some point. Um... I think Hotel Kraut is over there, like the peaks right past that rail. Look around, I don't really see any robots anywhere. Oh, that's a save point right there. All right. Wait, hold on. You know, I was checking to make sure I didn't miss. I wonder what that key's for. It'd be cool if it was unlocking different rooms in the hotel. That'd be... Alright. Pain. Yeah, I don't know what the full variety of weapons are, but based on... Oh, I, I... Now that I think about it, like... I... Most weapons can be broken down to, like, a blade or head part component and a handle. Even a whip. I'm holding out that there's a whip somewhere in this game. I love using whips. They are such an underrated and underused weapon in most games. That's why I did an entire playthrough of Elden Ring one. Because it was just, like, a fun, different thing to do other than, like, a sword that's in, like, the majority of every video game. <laughs> okay, what does this do? Hello. And enhanced resistance to electricity. That would have been good to put on before we went to fight that other guy. In fact, we got it right before that, and I never put it on. But yeah, it looks like it just boosts everything, and the only trade-off is weight. That seems to be the... That seems to be the going theme with all of these. It only... The only negative thing is that it increases the weight, and then the next one we'll get will make our physical stuff even more stronger. Like, with these. I'm like, yeah, look at our weight. It's only 41 out of 78. We only have, we have like, 52%. So it's like, we're still in, like, complete mid-range. And I don't even know for sure how heavy even affects us. We have not been using this. I, I feel like I probably could be using sword arts a lot more because we just keep getting these fucking, uh, shots. We have like a bunch of them in storage and honestly we haven't even been using our uh this like at all what's going on maybe i'm just being overly cautious for this game it seems like we only die when we get into stupid situations so far Okay, that does stay there. Okay, so what does that mean? We got the whistle, but who does that belong to? We've only found three people we can talk to there, though. There's the merchant, the guy in that window that misses his friend, and then the woman we gave the doll to. So who the hell does the whistle belong to? Unless there was that one guy coughing at that window, but we couldn't talk to him. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's another item there that's on now. Okay. Things, riddles, 
probably unlock something. Maybe we'll come across locked treasure chests. And yeah, we found this doll. And it's part of Recollections. But... I don't... Yeah, that kid, the, this definitely belongs to that kid, but for some reason... Oh! I thought we had to give it to the kid. I think we just have to blow the whistle outside of his uh, room. Okay, let's go try that then. Name's Pinocchio. Professional whistleblower, but not like you know the modern kind. I mean, like the original, like it's a physical whistle. Oh god, what was that? For some reason, I just kind of stopped, but I still had stamina. Yeah, I don't think so. Is the Okay, the running swing is not as good as in, like, other Bulls games. Usually the running swing allows you to do, like, a hard swing, do a little extra damage, and it usually kind of staggers the person a little bit because it's a surprise. But in here, it's just like, nope, they're in normal animation and they'll be able to clip you. Good to know. So some of these recollections, you just have to, like, interact with it. And what do we do with the doll? It's literally like the last. Hey, that sound. Is that you, Murphy? I know that whistle. It must be Murphy. Thanks for coming by. I want to play, but I feel too sick. I, I don't think I can. I miss Zach and Sophie and Eric. I wish we could all play. Wish times were had by all. The dying child. <laughs> Whistle blow. But maybe it was the kid inside blowing back. But yeah, I, I think. I, I like that. I like that they actually sh gives us hints on the teleport menu of like, oh, you picked up this item. Maybe you should check this area. Definitely makes doing side quests and stuff so much easier. Understand. The 
city is on its deathbed. The petrification disease spreads too fast, and the puppets rampage everywhere. Nobody knows what caused the disaster. Everyone in Krat is just trying to survive. That's why I found you. Our only hope, Geppetto's puppet. We're both unique. I am able to wield the power of Ergo. Power I used to call on you. That's all I can say for now. Please, save Krat. Oh shit. So because she can manipulate the energy that's we're powered by, she is almost like a tech romancer. I'll use my power to help you. It is honestly very underutilized thing. Except for in the game, tech romancer. <laughs> Alright, sweet, we got that. Um, honestly, our health is pretty good. I, I, we need more stamina. Alright, let's see here. It goes up. Alright, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, we have just enough. Okay, I think that will give us just enough so that we'll be able to have like a full extra swing or two. But yeah, probably getting all our base stats, our base stats to 20 is probably minimal. What I want to do. For right now. Bam. And we almost have enough for another one, so... Actually, bust them open. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, we got- this was from the first guy, and then this was from the police officer. We, don't you hate it when, like, you're trying to level up and you're little, literally just, like, 10 or 20 XP away and you're just I like, come on! To help you. All right. And yeah, also, yeah, our defense, too, is also being risen by that. I was only looking at our stamina. I should have been paying attention to defense as well. Um... Oh, whoa, this is pumped by three versus one. I'm not sure what technique really does. But yeah, we're gonna hit by that. That's a lot, a lot more bang for our buck. Although I do guess it is like two levels down, so maybe at some point it will... But hey, booyah! there. I think we're already up to level 31 if that heart symbol is supposed to be our level up in the corner. Already like fucking busting heads here. Oh wait, and we should also check uh, if we can level up our blade anymore. Oh wait, we just used up all our monies. Okay, we'll check if we have the material. Oh, hello. Assemble weapons. Okay, so that's now available for her and then we can talk some more. Okay, let's go weapon upgrades. Um, hidden moonstone. We just need one more, and then we can get this up to level three. I do wish there was a way to see like this blade at level zero. Is this like how like what it looks like when they're on equal levels? So you know if I should keep leveling this up or if I should start leveling this up. Although, I do think the club is shorter in length than the sword, so... That would be good. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then there's this special one over here for electric. Which only takes one because it's the first level, okay. So, both, both the blades as well as like the specialty electric weapon take the same material. to look at something mr benini is the richest man in krat his company manufactures most of krat's exports he's uh, peculiar but a good-hearted man even though he's rich he treats every employee with respect i 
heard he went to shut the factory down. I hope he's safe. I wouldn't want to lose my best customer. I think we are I think she already said that to us, but for some reason we didn't save it. But yeah, um what time is it? Okay, oh perfect. Alright, we are gonna call it for today. Honestly, we just got outside of the demo zone, so it's like, okay. So tomorrow, we are going to be doing some Genshin Impact. We are going to be doing the music festival that started. And then on Wednesday, we will hop back into this and continue. And uh, yeah, just continue exploring, finding out what's up. Hopefully run into some challenges. Because we only died, was it two times? Or one time maybe today? Very little. We died a lot more on the first day than we did today. And I was hella surprised that that boss was basic. In fact, that boss was easier than when we fought uh, the first enemy. And um, and a lot of the times, whenever you like summon a friend in, like you'll scale the enemy slightly. So it's not overwhelmingly easy. But that was overwhelmingly easy. So I don't think I'm going to summon in a person anymore. I did it the first time just to show it off, and I wanted to see if it was going to be an NPC or, like, a player character. It looked like an NPC. Um, so, yeah. We'll see. If we do ever actually get to anything difficult and we can't figure it out, then we'll do it. But I don't think I'll really summon anyone anymore because that was way too easy and kind of a bummer. But, hey. I can't wait to explore, find out what else this world has to offer, and see where this story goes. That is going to be it for day 1,340 of streaming in a row. Thank you everyone for coming out and hanging out. Like I said, Genshin Impact tomorrow, more Lies of P on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, that is it for today, guys. Links down below for my Twitter, as well as links over to my YouTube channel, where all my previous streams are uploaded and archived over there. And I will see you all tomorrow with some Genshin Impact. If not, see you guys back here on Wednesday with more Lies of Pete. See ya.